Hi everybody and welcome back! I'm Juliet and welcome to my Chakra Healing Yoga practice. This program includes seven yoga classes, each flow dedicated to specific energy center of our body or chakra. This yoga practice will help you to balance and restore pure original functions of all seven chakras. So together, let's clear out what doesn't serve us anymore and create more space, more room for love, stability, life energy and magic ability to attract, to amplify and to manifest amazing things to our lives. So as always, I'm going to guide you through this practice and you guys practice with passion and love in that heart. So let's begin. Alright guys, we will begin here on our back with the feet together in a bonded angle. Today we're working on our seventh energy center, Sahasrara or the crown chakra, the thousand petals lotus flower right on top on the crown. So let's close our eyes and just as always prepare for our practice. You can hold your hands on top on your belly or just release them on the floor wherever that's comfortable. Take a good quality inhalation through the nose expanded belly and just slow quality exhalations for your nose gently release a contraction keep your eyes closed and give yourself a genuine little smile just bring in the more kindness more warmth more love inside your body so you can practice with open heart and share that love with others and with that let's draw our both knees together and we will start our practice by bringing the one knee in a time towards our chest, chin or belly. And if you can't lift your shoulders off the floor, that's okay. If you can extend leg opposite side, that's fine. Just keep that other foot on the floor. And then exhalation, switch. Sahasrara chakra or the crown chakra requires open and balanced body in general in order all the energy from the all lower chakras to flow there so we're going to go through the very active and dynamic floor and hopefully you practice with me already entire last month working on the all other six chakras so that's going to be very joyful practice for all of us let's do a few more hands with the nose out through that nose just alternate, exchange those knees. And let's do just one more on each side, right and left. And then slowly bring those feet on the floor. Reach those arms behind, lengthen in that spine. And now draw your both knees towards that chest. All the way, give them a good hug. And we're going to start the next flow. We will flow to the seated full feet position in back to the spinal position seated position guys in back to the spinal so if your back is very sensitive maybe put a second mat right or go a little bit slower try not to skip the wider breath roll one vertebra in a time please do not roll on your neck everything stops in the shoulder blades and just a couple more and let's do one more and on the next one just stay up there and press your pose knees towards the chest again I'm going to open up our legs and do a few active straddles with the legs bringing the tension back to the root chakra muladhara there you go just a few dynamic active movements guys don't be afraid to move energetically it keeps that mind very calm and just a few more great job and then let's do one luck in the time up and down up and down if you wish to add one arm as well towards those legs go ahead and do that very good and then let's go ahead and stop up here we're going to start the next flow we will go and flow in between 
our plow pose and the seated forward fold. If you can do the full plow pose, don't worry about it. And let's just practice waterfall. Sit, breathe, fold, forward, all the way back. So working on the third chakra and second chakra, Svarkistana, second one in Manipura, the third one, the solar plexus. Again, in order for us effectively to work on the seventh chakra, we have to awaken in and wake up activate all other six chakras first so the energy can flow all the way towards a thousand vitals lotus and just few more mm -hmm. sahasrara chakra stores a lot of energy of blissfulness of purification of enlightenment where does your ego takes you so everything above that ego breathe guys and just one more and let's stay in our halasana pose just for the couple breaths in through the nose out through that nose and slowly bend those knees and flow on your feet we're going to make a transfer on our knees working on our anahata our heart chakra right now waking up that heart chakra all the way up and down in the cat and cow pose and then we're gonna go for the one arms with the needle dynamic twist and again sahasrara chakra the very very important one the end of the all sevens one connection with the universe with the universal energy we have to take care first of the all other lower chakras in order to get effectively through towards that seventh chakra enlightenment blissfulness and ultimate true being connection with the true self when the true self is not clouded by the judgment by the comparison by the past or the future let's step up here start with the right arm and thread the needle right again and thread the needle, very good. And right, and thread the needle. Let's do one more. And the Hatha Chakra, Manipura Chakra, Svaikistana, everything is working here. One more, hold it, open up. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Body is getting warmer, hotter, getting ready. And then let's go ahead and do that from other side. Left, and thread the needle and left and spread the needle beautiful all the way and up and let's do just a couple more try to every single time to open a little bit wider in hold now guys breathe if you want to open up and take this right arm up you can do it oh i feel so much warmth and heat and comfort inside my body hopefully you feel that with me already come back guys and from here we're going to start to reach one leg in the time each and chest belly right leg each and chest belly just a few more just to make sure that the body is awake mm -hmm. and switch left head back and reach and knee to chest belly reach all the way reach very good, a couple more times, and back, and release, round that spine, relax your neck, come on up with me, we're gonna start to next flow, we're gonna flow in between the downward facing dog, and the Ustrasana camel pose with the toes, so reach all the way back towards the toes, if that is not available, then on your lower back, Reach up, extend the heart, open up the throat, Vishuddha Chakra, Anahata Chakra, take it back and exhalation, downward facing dog, knees on the floor, take it back to the camel pose, reach, expand all the way, Vishuddha Anahata, all the way back to the downward facing dog, Manipura Chakra, Connecting with the earth, Muladhara chakra, and Sladhistana. Let's do a few more. Reach. 
again moving dynamically actively guys energetically but at the same time with a calm and settled mind a couple more guys all the way back nice and open and take it back to the downward facing dog shoulder blades apart feet hips width apart sit bones width apart hands shoulders width apart and the downward facing dog and back to the downward facing dog guys stay up here with me and we're going to dynamically switch the arms right and left left and right again working on the anahata chakra and throat chakra breathe guys just a few more mm -hmm. if you can't reach your ankle don't worry about that please maybe that's gonna be a thigh or knee and maybe you have to go on your knees and do that on your knees in the tabletop and more very nice let's take our knees back to the ustrasana pose we're gonna practice one leg ustrasana pose open up with one arm and then back and then back to the seated position knees knees wide so let's go ahead and do it so grab your right and reach all the way Take your feet together, knees wide, open up, reach, nice and open. And slowly take it back, we're going to switch the leg with Trasana, left ankle, reach, open up. Back on the floor guys, knees wide, hips up. And the back to Jostrasana, right. All the way, grab that ankle, reach, open up, left arm. In the back, guys, do the wide knees, feet together, hips up. And back to the center, we stress and again, left, open it up. And back on the floor, guys. Feet together, knees wide, open up and hold. Expand through the heart, Muladhara, Svathistana, second chakra, Manipura, third solar plexus, Anahata, heart chakra, Vishuddha, third chakra, and Ajna, third eye chakra. Everything is open, connecting and working, interlacing the energy, striving towards the seventh chakra so sorry. let's go ahead and take our hands on the floor meet in the downward facing dog relax restore hold the way and let's hop or walk we break walk halfway in through the nose and out full forward fold very good look halfway and we're gonna go ahead and start the squat so extend those arms and squat arms forward extend those arms and squat arms forward extend those arms hips forward expand and squat add a little bit more dynamic back bend guys squat breathe squat breathe squat one more breathe and squat we're gonna go roll back to our back and then stand up nice and tall very good squat roll back and up and squat roll back and up let's do a couple more squat roll back and up and squat roll back and up. very good job guys so let's step both feet together and practice a few back bends so send those hands on top of the hips or lower back push the hips forward take the heart up expand breathe in through the nose out through the nose 
slowly come back, reach up, chair pose, squat, and lift those heels. Let's work up here, hips forward, heart up, expand, then chair pose on the toes, bend those knees, hips forward, extend the knees, feet on the floor, and back to the chair pose with the knees bent, heels above, couple more times. Back, and last one, back, and tear pose on the toes, great job, take it all the way back, let's step our right leg, crisscross cross the left, open up those arms, and rotate towards the left, all the way, then towards the right, then towards the left. Then towards the right, then towards the left, towards the right again, right, left, expand the motion, back, bridge, fold forward, there you go, relax the neck, we're gonna practice five pointed stars guys, so take this right, all the way outside and top, arms together in parallel to each other, that is already load or go ahead and lean towards the left. Five point to start breathe. Very active on the core, on the breathing, connecting with the earth, connecting with the universe, connecting all seven chakras, guys. Great job. Come back with me. Take that leg, right leg forward kick. Take it back to the warrior three. In forward kick back to the warrior three if you have to tap the floor behind or a friend please do it a couple more times Ooh, and one more very good take it back shake those legs great job we'll take our left across the right open up and we're gonna start over the right right left and right and left, and right, and left, right, left. Big one, expand the range of motion. Expand, 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 and great job. Reach up, and all the way, forward fold. Relax, we still release. We're gonna go for the five pointed star, so top, the left leg outside, take your arm parallel to each other, lean towards the right, and if it feels right, we're gonna go ahead and lift that foot off the ground. Breathe, guys. In through the nose, out through the nose. Breathe, guys. In through the nose, out through the nose. Breathe. Very good. Connecting again with the earth, balance with the universe, all the way back. Take that knee forward and kick. And take it back to the warrior three. Very hot. Breathe forward. Do not hurry up. Do your best. And again, if you have to stop and rest, take a child pose for the breath or two. Definitely do that. Let's do a couple more. And one more. Great job. All the way. Takes it like on the floor. Very good work. All right, guys, let's step wider. And we're gonna practice the wide leg squats with the rotations. That's our ultimate body. Warming up, activating, hitting every chakra. Take your arms to the side, squat, rotate, rotate, rotate to the waistline. Go, let's move, let's move, let's move. A few more, a few more. Three, two, one, coming up. Lengthen in the body, extend, expand, fold forward, and we're gonna go for the plank, guys. We're gonna hold plank or flow chaturanga dandasana if you can hold with me. We're holding for the few active breaths. If you need to set your knees on the floor, then set those knees on the floor. Keep on breathing, guys. Hands through the nose, out through the nose. All chakras active. Breathe, 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 breathe. Come on up, lift, reach. When your knees rest in the child pose. Very good work. 
We're gonna go for the downward facing dog and from there we're gonna practice a few active dynamic squats. So squat on your legs, back to the downward facing dog squat, bend the knees all the way, lengthen through the arms, back, squat, lengthening, and back. One more guys, squat, lengthening, back to the downward facing dog. From here, team, we're going to bring our arms on the floor and bring the forehead on the ground. We practice that. We're going to practice it a little bit differently today. So, forehead on the ground, support it with your neck. And you can just stay up here and just rock from the heels to the toes, maintaining the good connection with the third eye chakra, hands of Hasvara chakra, the seventh chakra. So, or you can come with me and take your left underneath the right and just hold it up here. Breathe, few breaths up here, few breaths. Do not hurry up. And then switch. Just again, stay up there or just right underneath the left. Easy breathing. Very good job, guys. Let's take the knees on the floor and rest forehead on the ground. Mm -hmm. Very good job. Today, we're going to practice tripod handstands. If that is not in your practice, don't worry about it. Just do the same what we did, both hands bounded right there and forehead in between forehead and the crown and that's going to be just plenty if you want to come with me then we're going to take our crown on the floor the top of the head and again i already mentioned that if you have a neck injuries neck surgeries please don't do it so let's go ahead if you don't have any injuries go ahead and put your crown on the floor be very very mindful right hat stance is not for everyone then we're gonna start with the knees on top on the upper arms just like that we're gonna stay here for a few breaths then rest and massage in the crown chakra slowly take it back Let's sit down in the child pose, rest, recover. Just a few breaths. And then once you rest and recover, come back with me. So crown on the floor, or just practice as we did before. Hands are connected to each other. And then from here again, knees on top. And then just support your one leg with the other. Right, supporting the left. And then slowly release. Let's take it back and rest. And then we're gonna do for another tripod supported headstand. When our left is going to support our right. So you ready? Let's do it. we we'll practice the variation which we did before, just like this. We're hands bounded. So knees on top on the elbows. Stay calm, connected, and slowly bring in so that left, supporting that right, and let's release. Take it back on the floor, all the way. I'll just down it up. Let's stretch that neck, all the way back. Let's stretch that neck. And we're gonna go for the full hero pose. And then we're gonna do a little flow in that full hero pose to activate our body all the way. So reach up. And again, if you cannot see to the full in or full hero pose, that is okay. Just set the block underneath the hips and just sit on the wounded block. A few hip lifts, lift and exhalation. And lift. And exhalation. And lift. And 
exhalation, one more time, lift. And exhalation, great job. We're going to guys fall forward. If you can, fall forward. If you can't, stay on your forearms. Or come with me. And from here, we're going to start the next floor. We're gonna go for all the way around, all the way around, big sweep, and all the way around from the other side. Stop up here and then reverse it all the way, moving slowly, gently, exploring the energy around the body inside. Let's do one more round, big press all the way. Do not hurry up, you don't have to do it fully. Just to start with the one little movement at a time and then slowly expand it all the way. Back, forehead on the floor, belly on top, on those legs, of course, if that is available. Give it a few breaths. And from here, guys, let's move our big toes together. Wide legs, child pose, shoulders down, heart up. First, bring those hands up front of the heart. Close your eyes. Let's together. Pay attention to the breath and let's channel in into the Sahasvara chakra, the seven chakra, visualizing the deep purple rich beautiful color on the very top of your head like a crown opening connecting with the universal energy so the energy can flow through that body nurturing delivering the information the wisdom the blissfulness let's reach those arms all the way up above that crown, all the way. And then bring them back towards the heart. So let's make a transfer towards the center, guys. Bring your both feet. Up front, hold the heart. Let's bring both hands. Namaste. And close your eyes. And again, let's bring attention to our heart. To the joyful heart, which is always there. To the striving heart. Let's connect with our true self. With the real true self. Who is always loving, always striving, always forgiving. And let's make an intention to bring more love, more joy, more commitment inside that heart and share those things with others. Smile with your heart and flow through the rest of this day with a true, true joy and peace inside. Namaste.